I have no underwear on, and there's vomit everywhere. And garbage bags. Lots and lots of garbage bags. Nice intro, content creator. That was a t- that was a terrible intro. Now I know what you're thinking. You fucking liar. You fucking shitbag. You've never had sex before. Fuck you. You're actually right. This is about something even better, though. Alcohol. Now this adventure begins with me and my friend Frederico. I call him Frederico, even though that's not his real name, because he looks really Mexican and he's got this weird pedo stash. Wow, that's actually really racist now that I think about it. But he decided to go ahead and visit me for a little while, and we played video games and just hung out. One night, we decided to go to the liquor store and get a 1.75 liter bottle of straight-up Jack Daniels. Now, at this point, I had never actually had any kind of liquor. My body was not prepared. So I got back, and later at night, we opened it up, and my friend didn't tell me anything about drinking liquor or what I should do or what I should not do. So instead of drinking small amounts like the normal person would or mixing it in with other stuff, I just took a fucking glass and I poured an entire cup full of Jack Daniels and just straight up started chugging the shit. And it tasted like bleach and ramen powder, but... I didn't really care at this point. I just kind of did it because I thought it was the normal thing to do. So I sat down and we played video games. We talked, we chilled, and I'm just sitting there chugging glasses of fucking Jack Daniels straight up. All of a sudden, my face starts turning numb and my whole body starts turning numb and I start getting dizzy and I'm just getting drunk. Uh, These are the last few moments that I remember before waking up in my bed. I have no underwear on. And there's vomit everywhere. And garbage bags. Lots and lots of garbage bags. I did fortunately have pants on though, but I didn't have any underwear, which was kind of weird. And I just felt horrible. I was shaking. Everything hurt. Uh, I felt like puking. I actually did puke several times. Okay, I puked like 50 times that day. And I was just, I was in pain and agony. And I walked around and avoided these puddles of puke and vomit and garbage bags and just shit everywhere. And I go to my friend and the bottle is just lying right next to him. And I look at it and there's only a few drops left in this giant 1.75 liter bottle. And his response is, yep. I'm just like, did did you? He's like, nope. I'm like, me? He's like, yep. At that point, I had noticed that even though I was blacked out, I continued drinking pretty much the entire bottle and my friend did not do anything to stop me. He didn't take it away from me, and I had absolutely no memory of this at all. This isn't even where things get interesting yet. Oh, man. So I go around, and there's garbage bags everywhere, and I'm like, what the fuck are these garbage bags? Like, oh, why do I not have underwear on, too? Frederico is like, you couldn't stop complaining about how your dick hurt last night, and you kept calling me a faggot, and you said all these weird things. I had no memory of this at all. I was just completely clueless. I'm like, why do I have no underwear on? I didn't even know where my underwear was at this point. I was just, ugh, this was such a disaster. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I'm like, garbage bags? He's like, you don't want to take those garbage bags off the carpet. Trust me, you don't want to do that. And I, I, I slightly peek under one of these garbage bags, and it smells like chemicals and vomit. And I just, I start puking everywhere. I go to the bathroom, and I'm just puking, and it's a fucking disaster. So I pass out again, and I wake up, and it's just a miserable time for me. And I go back out, and all of a sudden, I notice that the carpet is turning white. The fucking carpet, which is brown, is turning white. Like, completely pale white all over. There's just spots of white everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck is going on to the carpet? Like, what's happening right now? And my friend is like, oh yeah, you uh, you cleaned the carpet a bit. I'm like, what the f- I did? What? He's like, yeah, you cleaned the carpet. You don't remember? I had no idea. I didn't remember anything at all. My memory was just gone. He's like, yeah, you got up and you started cleaning the carpet and you were you wanted to get rid of all the vomit. I'm like, what did I clean the carpet with? He's like, I think you used bleach. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You let me clean the carpet with bleach? He's like, yeah, what's wrong with that? And so at this point, I'm not the only one that's retarded. Clearly, we're both pretty fucking stupid. And I, I look at the table, and there's a big giant fucking bottle of bleach there. And it's it's all gone. The whole fucking bottle is gone. And this is an absolute disaster. The whole fucking carpet is turning white and mixed in with vomit. And it's just an absolute abomination. It's just something that you can't even look at without puking yourself. It's disgusting. 
So at this point, I'm freaking out right now because I don't know what to do. I don't know if there's any way I can fix this. I don't know if there's anything that I can do to get rid of the bleach. And I mean, I was just passing out so much. I was going through like a three-day hangover, and it was too late. There was nothing I could really do. Um, the carpet was ruined, and I was in a pretty new apartment that just had new carpet put in. Yeah, there you go. That's a that's a fifteen hundred dollar night out of drinking for you, folks. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. Oh God, pretty pretty bad. It was pretty bad. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other stories. All that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and puke some more now.